Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I had mentioned that I was going to be sharing with you the items that I purchased at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale that just passed. I did shop this particular sale more than I've shopped, I think, any other sale in the past because I did need to stock up on a few things. And I also... Um, thought that there was something included in the sale that I really wanted to try and I kind of went hog and over purchased because the price was so good. Now the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is a 50% off sale. It isn't everything in the store. They just have different items day to day and they also include some mystery items but they are at a really good deep discount yeah. on brands websites usually you can get 20 to 30 percent off say like if Charlotte Tilbury is having a sale or Huda Beauty is having a sale and so on so it's a really good time to stock up on items that you use you know all year round or it's a good time to try things so that's why I love the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. so anyways I'm just going to jump in and share with you the items that I purchased this time around at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale even though the sale is over I think it's a good way to share with you products that I love and I think you might really like too and just tell you a little bit more about them because even though they're not currently on sale on the Ulta sale, they will still go on sale either at the Sephora sale or on the brand's websites or at Macy's or Dillard's. I mean, it, you don't have to look hard to find a good sale these days. Everyone is trying to get you to shop at their store. So there are some pretty good sales out there, but also Mother's Day is coming. A lot of companies do have great sales around Mother's Day. So I'm just gonna jump in and tell you about the products that I purchased. On the first day of the sale, I did purchase MAC paint pots and I already shared them with you in a video right after I purchased them. And most of you probably know about MAC paint pots, but if you don't, there are like a pot of an eyeshadow or primer. You can use these so many different ways and I have so many different colors. I have Art Therapy Chi to use as an eyeshadow. I have Bougie to also use as a one and done eyeshadow. I have Groundwork and Taylor Gray to smudge in my lower lash line. I already have that on today and I love it for that or as a one eyeshadow. But one that I haven't mentioned to you and I wanted to just mention to you briefly before I move on to the next item is one called Bear Study. And it looks like this and it's shiny and it's kind of glistening, but it doesn't have any glitter in it. That's what it looks like. And what I like to use this one for is a couple of things. I like to use this one as a one and done eyeshadow with black eyeliner and really black mascara or false lashes. It's just perfect for that. But the other thing I really like to use it for is to use as an eyeshadow primer. And then when I'm priming my lid with it to also make sure I put a little bit of it out here peeking through because it's that perfect not quite champagne it's lighter than champagne but it's not white it's just the perfect shade for highlighting right here and also highlighting the arch of your brow we all like to have a product for that and you can even use this as a highlighter on your cheeks and it can be used for so many different things just to prime your lids or to use for all those other things i just shared with you so bear study is one that i really like having in my collection as well i did not pick up another one this time around because i have one that's still pretty full and it does take a while to get through these but i wanted to share this with what this with you just in case and then another one is vintage selection and it's also shiny like Bear Study, but this one is kind of rosy toned. So I've got Bear Study on this finger and this one's got a little more kind of like um 
I don't know, a rosy tone to it. And it's a really pretty one and done eyeshadow look or for the same things I just shared with you. It's just a different color. It's more rosy than the Bare Steady. So these are really good for that. So I just wanted to let you know about those in case you aren't really familiar with paint pots or even if you are, but you'd like to try more and you're not really sure what you'd use them for. So that's how I use those. This time around, Estee Lauder Double Wear was included in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I think it normally retails for like 40 some dollars and I think it was like 20 something this time around. So I was running a little bit low on the shades I currently have. It does have like a very extensive shade range. So several shades work for me. I could wear Cool Bone, I can wear Ecru, and I can wear Ivory Nude. And that's what I got this time around. And Ivory Nude is described with, as light with natural neutral peach undertones. So this one has neutral peach undertones. I am wearing it today. Ecru works really well for me in the summer months when I'm self tanning and you can see the slight shade difference, but they both work for, for me very well. They both are like a perfect shade match. One looks a little better when I'm self tanning and one looks a little better when I'm not. So I really love having this foundation on always hand. in my rotation. And I did purchase a pump, although the pump wasn't on sale in the Ulta sale. So I did go to Macy's. It's normally $10 and I got it for eight. And I had purchased a few other things so I didn't have to pay shipping. So it worked out better just to get it at Macy's. But I do like to have a pump. If you don't get a pump, it will come in a bottle like this. It's just fine. I don't always have a pump, but I do find it to be a little bit easier if you do purchase the pump. Okay, the next thing that I picked up at the sale is the Clarins Double Serum. The Clarins Double Serum is almost always in Included in the 21 Days of Beauty sale. It normally retails, depending on the size of the bottle that you purchase, I think the least expensive one is like 80 or 90 some dollars. So on sale, it's like 40 something. And so that's what it was in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I did purchase the one ounce size because I know for a fact that this will see me through until the fall when Ulta has another sale and then I can pick up a new one then. I don't want to get the largest bottle and then risk having it go bad or something like that. But I do go through this. I've purchased this many times before, but I haven't had it in a while. I made a whole video on this product and I will link it down in the description box. And in that video, I will tell you just about every ingredient in it, how it works, why it works the way it does, and just some key things that are good to know. One thing I will mention right now is that some of the ingredients are water-based and some of the ingredients are oil-based and oil and water do not mix. So they're in separate chambers inside the bottle and then they come out together in one pump. So they don't blend when they're down here, but they blend up here and then they blend well and you can apply them and then they can be absorbed and you don't have any issues with water and oil not mingling well. And you can select the size of the drop that you'd like as well on the top. You can just turn this to select the size that you would like but it is two chambers, two different serums that blend together into one. And it has 21 botanical and plant extracts in the formula, the 21st being turmeric. And turmeric has really great skincare benefits. And I think I mentioned that in my other video, but it does kind of brighten and increase your radiance and firm and all that. So um, I don't know for a fact that that's what makes this work so well for me, but when I use this, my skin always looks very, very radiant and I don't react to it. I don't break out or anything like that. So this is one of my favorite serums and I haven't had it in a while and that's because I've been using Caudalie Vino Perfect. I think that's what it's called, the one in the white bottle. And I love that too, but I do like to rotate my serum. And I'm really happy to have this back in my rotation. I've been using it every single day, twice a day for over a week since I got this in the mail. And I'm so happy to have it back in my collection because I'm already seeing that brightening effect. Next two products I blindly bought 
without really even knowing very much about them at all. And I just went for it because the reviews that I've seen have been very good. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on these two last products and the reviews on all the websites that I've that sell these products. When I look at the reviews, I've seen really great reviews. So I decided just to go for it. And you guys are going to gasp when you see how crazy I went for Nabla. I've never tried anything from Nabla and they make great eyeshadow palettes and blushes and things like that. And they aren't sold in store at my Ulta, so I've never even really been able to look at them in person, but I've seen YouTubers use them and they're so beautiful. So I've been wanting to try them and they were 50% off. They normally retail somewhere in like the 30 to $40 range per palette, but they were half price, so they were considerably less. And the palette that enticed me the very most is the side-by-side -side nude palette and it looks like this and this reminded me a lot of the Lorac Pro palette which was one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes it's been discontinued but this is like a nude palette that is nude but it's not what I think of as nude like when I think of nude I think of beiges and taupey shades and maybe some some lighter terracotta shades or khaki shades just sort of all in that nude range but this definitely has some other shades in it and I have played around with it and the pigmentation is crazy the dark shades are not at all patchy. They're very creamy, very blendable, but you have to go with a very light touch because if you pick up a lot of product, I'm telling you the pigmentation is wild. It will just, you'll be blending all day. So I've actually gotten myself in a situation where I've needed to kind of remove some of my makeup and go at it again because I put too much down. And if you watch me, you know that I generally go with a pretty light touch, but they're very pigmented. And that's one thing I've always heard, but I wasn't prepared for just how pigmented they are. And one thing I did notice about this palette is that a lot of these shades can be used row by row. Like these all complement one another. Same here, here. And then you've got these cool shades here just very cool and very beautiful, but you can also go down. So I'm thinking this is kind of a no brainer. It's very easy. I mean, of course you can do anything you want, but they complement each other the way that they're organized in the palette, which makes it easier for me because I'm not really great at looking at palettes and then figuring out how to combine colors. And I often watch YouTube videos to see what other ladies do just to give me an idea. And that's part of why I like Charlotte Tilbury so much because her palettes are so user-friendly and easy to use. But this is set up in a very easy to use way. I've used it several times and I've been very pleased with it. So I have no regrets about this palette. It does have a nice big mirror and very thick, hearty, almost feels kind of canvassy, but I'm sure it's like just some sort of cardboard with an overlay on it. Really nice packaging. It definitely feels and seems luxurious to me. And so I was so happy to pick it up at a, a discounted price. Okay. The next one that I purchased is the Dreamy palette. And it looks like this. And when you see this one, you'll know this just has my name written all over it. A lot of rosy shades, a lot of neutral shades, a lot of like lavender shades that are so pretty. The rosy toned shades are just beautiful. This shade mixed with this is really, really pretty together. You wouldn't think so, but they really are. When you put this on the inside of your mobile lid, it's kind of a golden and then put this hot pink in the outer corner and then take a big fluffy brush and blend, 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 blend. It transforms. It doesn't look so hot pink. It's really pretty. And so I really love this one. So that's the second one I got. And then the next one I got is the Secret Palette. And the box, look at this packaging. It's so pretty. 
And this one is just a fun palette that I thought would be really nice to have in the summer months. It's got those shades that we don't normally pick up in our collection. Well, at least I don't. And they're nice to have, even to use these as eyeliners, maybe do um, sort of a bronzy or golden toned look, and then use some of these teal or blue shades as liners. I think it'll be so pretty in the summertime. And also the pinks. I haven't played with this one a lot yet, but I'm really excited too. I think a lot of these colors are going to look really beautiful together. And it does have a combination of mattes and shimmers, kind of like in similar tones. Look at that. I just touched them and they're so pigmented. I also like that it has this deep black shade because I like to use black oftentimes the eyeshadow as an eyeliner to smudge so i i really appreciate that being there it's got so many beautiful kind of sparkly shades and it's got a lot of complimentary matte shades so this is going to be a palette i'll have a lot of fun with this summer so these are the nab blush palettes i picked up and i did also pick up I told you the Dreamy palette and I picked up an extra one for one of you. And this will not be a giveaway because I still have to mail my giveaway today from the last one. And I don't like to have giveaways going simultaneously because then I sometimes forget to announce them. So this will be coming up and um, I, I'll let you know what you have to do to enter, but it is the Dreamy palette. And I thought it's a palette that would be really beautiful on most women in the spring and summertime. I think this is a palette that is fun, but also user friendly. It doesn't like, it's not as intimidating as the secret palette. So um, I have one of those for you. And then I have a cutie palette here that I was gonna put in one of my daughter's Easter baskets. And this one is just a six pan palette. And it's the analog, they have a bunch of smaller palettes like this, and they're six pans, but they're really large. Whoops, this thing keeps falling out, and this is what it looks like. And I thought it would be a really pretty summertime palette. I kind of wish I grabbed another one of these for myself because I think it's so pretty with sort of like these deeper kind of wine shades with the terracottas. So pretty for the summer months. So I picked up two of these, and they're gonna go in my daughter's Easter basket. So I did go a little bit wild, purchasing Nabla, and I can't wait to try some of these palettes for you. If there's one in particular that you would like to see in a Get Ready With Me, I'd be really happy to share it with you. So just let me know. Okay, and the last thing that I purchased from the 21 Days of Beauty sale is from Giorgio Armani, and it's a fragrance, and I blindly bought this fragrance without ever smelling it in the past. And I've only done that once before and I purchased the Glossier U fragrance and I love that fragrance. So I thought I had good luck in the past. I might as well do it again since it's such a good deal and the reviews were really good. And I do own one other Giorgio Armani fragrance. I own the My Way Intense and I really like it a lot. So I thought, okay, well, I have good luck blindly buying fragrances and I have good luck with Giorgio Armani fragrances at least once, so why not? So I picked up the Giorgio Armani Aqua fragrance and it looks like this and the reviews were really good and so I got the fragrance and I was super excited to open the box and try it out and I will tell you what the description of the fragrance is. It is supposed to evoke the joy of the Mediterranean Sea. It's supposed to smell like fresh sea water, but obviously with flowers and <laughs> fruit and things like that in it. And it has jasmine, lemon, and cedar as the notes. And I thought, well, I don't have a problem with any of those fragrances. I did read the notes prior to purchasing it. I do like, I do like having jasmine in my fragrances. I love the smell of lemon and cedar. I kind of like cedar, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, some of those kind of woodsier base notes in my fragrances. So I was excited to try it. And it does smell like, I think the name Aqua suits the fragrance and it does sort of have a, a, a scent to it that kind of reminds you of the water. And I don't know why, I don't know why that is. I think it's just really fresh like that. I can't smell the lemon in it at all. And um, it doesn't smell powdery at all. 
And I'm just mentioning that because some of you don't like powdery scents and it doesn't smell musky at all. I do like powdery and I do like musky, but this does not have that. It's really different than what I typically wear. It smells really crisp and it smells um, kind of a combination of fruit and flowers. And I tend not to really enjoy a lot of really fruity or florally scents. I tend to lean a little more toward unisex fragrances, but having said all that, I really like it a lot. I have been wearing it every day, and the one thing that I have noticed is that, you know how when you usually, when you start using a new fragrance, you can smell it on yourself, and you're aware of it until you get used to it, and then you really can't anymore, but this one, I can't really smell it on myself throughout the day, so I don't know how it's lasting on me. So what I've been doing is spraying it on my arms, like right here, rubbing them together, and then whatever top I'm wearing, I rub it on my shirt, and then I take it and rub my hands and run it through my hair to make it last a little longer, and that does seem to help because then when I move and I can smell my hair, I can smell it, but... I'm, I really can't smell it on my skin as the day moves on. So I don't know. You can let me know. Have you tried this and have you experienced that? That's the only thing that I'm kind of going, hmm, did it, does it not last? Or am I just getting used to it really quickly? Because I'm not us usually using fragrances that have these kinds of notes in them. I don't know. So that's the last thing that I purchased. So that is what I purchased from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. If you'd like to see any of the Nabla palettes in use, let me know. I will let you know coming up what you have to do to win the Dreamy palette, or maybe it's going to be a secret giveaway and you have already done it. <laughs> you know, I might reach back and say somebody, if you commented on the last video or something like that, but I'll let you know. I think it's a palette that many of you will really enjoy and the pigmentation on these eyeshadows is amazing. So I can't see anyone not being happy with it. And thank you for spending some time with me. I hope that you all have a very blessed and wonderful Easter. Let me know what you're going to do on Easter. We are just going to go to church and we're going to go to, I think we're going to go to church Saturday night actually. And then we're going to um, cook here with my family and my parents and um, my daughter is coming in from South Carolina and just all of us will be here. We'll probably play some games and eat a lot of food and just have a really nice day. So let me know what you're going to do down in the comment section and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful weekend. I'll see you soon.